go into regression linear and put attractiveness in the dependent box and then humor in the independent box and or intelligence and humor in the independent box and here's the key feature which SPSS added to its uh, features uh, a couple versions ago I can't remember exactly which one uh, but maybe about version 20 click on bootstrap and click on perform bootstrap and leave number of samples or resamples to a thousand that should be plenty uh, for some reason uh, confidence intervals the default is percentile you should change that to bias corrected uh, percentiles I can't think of examples where you would prefer the percentile method rather than the bias corrected method and leave 95 percent as your uh, level of confidence and click continue now uh, what was going to happen if you do it this way and this could be a way that you want to do it because you're only interested in the unstandardized beta weights so when you do it this way you'll get uh, confidence intervals for the unstandardized beta weights and let's see what that looks like if I can shrink this window sufficiently that should be enough uh, so what you get is the standard multiple regression output and here are the uh, standardized beta weights which people typically interpret although not all cases or disciplines and here are the unstandardized beta weights and we can see that below we've got the bootstrap uh, for coefficients and we have the lower and upper bounds here but these correspond to the unstandardized beta weights and we don't want to test whether 0 0.036 is statistically significantly different from 0 0.110 what in this case we're interested in is the difference between 0.434 and 0 0.220 now if you were interested in the unstandardized beta weights just use the same technique and the same principles that Cumming uh, describes in his 2009 paper about 50 percent overlap but I'll show you the exact calculations because sometimes you eyeball it and you don't know for sure if it's 50 percent or if it's 45 percent how do you get an exact value and I'll show you how to get an exact value using this technique but I'm gonna do it on the standardized because we are so often interested in the standardized estimates instead so to get standardized confidence intervals you have to transform your variables into Z scores so go into analyze descriptive statistics and descriptives and put all three of your variables in the variable box and click on save standardized values as variables and actually deselect bootstrap for some reason SPSS automatically does a bootstrap for every analysis you do uh, irrespective of doing a different analysis so unclick that we don't want a bootstrap of the descriptive statistics and click OK and what SPSS has done is it's uh, created a uh, series of three variables which are called Z intelligence, Z humor, and Z attractiveness. And I want to get rid of the labels that SPSS automatically puts in there because I don't find them attractive labels. And now I can do my multiple regression based on these variables instead. And I'm going to get my standardized, I'm going to get my confidence intervals that correspond to the standardized beta weights, which is what I want. So regression linear. So I'm going to throw these out and put the intelligence and humor variables as my independent and attractive as dependent and then re-specify my perform bootstrap and click continue and click OK and now the bootstrap's been conducted and now I've got the 95 percent confidence intervals from my standardized beta weights which equal 0.294 to 0 0.560 for the point estimate of intelligence's beta weight 0.434 and humor 0 0.220 so it looks like just eyeballing it just with the numbers which isn't a great way you pretty much have to graph it to really get an idea and I have done that and I'll show it to you in a second but this 0.434 beta weight looks like it might be bigger than 0 0.220 and all too often in papers people just write the standardized beta weight is you know numerically larger or it is larger but you should be testing that hypothesis statistically is it actually statistically is do women actually value intelligence more than humor when it comes to attractiveness uh, and that's the question here now what does it look like when you put it into a graph well when I put the point estimates the standardized point estimates 
and their corresponding high and low uh, beta weights in a uh, 